This is our 2015 SLG 78 VF-2. Uh, this is our new model, uh, replaces our 78 VF. It's got some new features on it for this year. Um, we have designed a tilting screen deck into this machine that will bring the deck from 50 degrees all the way back to 25 degrees and still gives you the suspension adjustment that you can use with your machine so it's much more versatile. Stand it up straight for very wet topsoil, stuff that usually sticks to the screen deck, lay it back halfway for doing dry to medium soil, lay it all the way back for doing sand, aggregate, stuff that you want to move slowly across the screen deck. We've also designed a swing away feeder into this model for this year. This feeder here currently you have about 10 inches between the bottom of the feed deflector and the screen deck. When you swing that forward to here, compress the deck down, you can get up to 16 inches of clearance. So if you're feeding debris through here that has a lot of brush and sod and bigger stones and, and wood butts and chunks like that, it's no problem to be able to use the screener as just a scalping grizzly. Come on around the back side, we still want to show you our new suspension for this uh, year. Coming around the back side here, this is our, our new spring suspension for 2015 on our SLG 78 model. Uh, we've replaced the coil spring with a leaf spring. Uh, we've incorporated it right into the same mounting system. So what you can see when this deck rocks back, you can have much more movement in this screener. I'm not sitting on level ground right now, so you don't get the full effect. But at the end of the day, um, this allows not only you to change the full slope of the screen deck, you also still have your deck suspension that you can bring it back another 10 degrees to manipulate the deck when you're screening. The greatest feature of this machine is the fact that when you're feeding it with your skid steer, you get to see everything that's happening. You don't have plates and stuff in your way that block your vision to see exactly how the screener is working and how the material is flowing. You can come up, lay your bucket on here, compress your screen deck down, pour your material out, see it lay out on the screen deck, and then as you lift it up, change the slope, you can watch that stuff move and you decide how quickly you want it to go across the screen deck. That's really important when you're screening different kinds of materials, be it dry, wet, be it sand, soil, rock, everything moves differently across the screen deck, so you have to have a screen deck where you can adjust the slope to match the material that you're screening. Still have our 110 volt vibratory system, um, 3000 RPM, draws just a little over 5 amps, you can power it with your 220 watt uh, little suitcase generator. You can have it 100 feet away with a good quality extension cord so that you don't have your generator and your engine working in the dust. Um, it's really simple. There's not even any place to grease this machine. As you can see the whole spring and the suspension of it, it's all done with springs. No pivot points that need grease whatsoever. The maintenance is virtually zero on this machine. Again you can see how wide the feeder is here. You can feed it with a mini excavator from the other side or feed it from this side. You have good vision as to what's going on so when you're feeding it back and forth and pouring it in you can see what you're doing up there. You can see what's happening underneath. You do still need to have a wheel machine to clean your box out um, but short of that you can definitely feed this with a with a mini excavator. You're looking at somewhere between 10 to 30 yards an hour with this depending upon mesh, machine, how far you are from your soil, moisture content, a lot of different factors play in, but um, you can get a solid 10 yards and we've got guys getting up as high as 30 yards with a skid steer uh, feeding this machine, so you can definitely get some production through this. We offer everything from a, a 1 8 uh, mesh, both in square and elongated for doing mortar sand or golf course trap sand. Uh, we do a, a quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, three quarter. We do a one inch. Um, this is all in elongated and in square. We do an inch and a quarter square, two inch square, and a four inch square. Just be, uh, be conscious when you're ordering your mesh that you always screen smaller than what your mesh size is. If you've got a three quarter inch mesh, you're gonna get a half to a five eighths product. If you've got a 2x2 two two mesh, you're going to get about an inch and a half product. If you've got a 3 8 mesh, you're going to get a quarter inch product. So bear that in mind when you're ordering the mesh for this machine. It always screens smaller than what your mesh is. Uh, this is where we power our machine up. Again, it's the same as our 2014 model. We've got a heavy duty steel box that encloses your 
your capacitor for the starting motor on your vibratory. It's just a simple 110 volt three prong uh, plug with your ground on here. This is where the bolts are that you loosen or tighten to be able to change the slope of your screen deck. You'll see in some of our videos uh, that we have that you'll show just how much deck manipulation that you have. When it's all the way back, it'll follow this slope right here that you're seeing on the bar. When it's all the way up, you're going to see it at 50 degrees. So you have a huge variation of slope depending upon the material that you're screening. You loosen the six bolts on each side, set your deck where you want, tighten your six bolts back up, you're ready to go to work. So you're looking at probably two to three minutes uh, with a ratchet, loosen it off, set it where you want, tighten it back up, you're back to work in whatever product that you're working in. We're really excited about this SLG machine for 2015. Uh, we listened to comments from our customers last year, took those to heart, looked at how we could change the product. That's one thing you'll find about Dosite products. We don't just hammer out the same product year after year, telling you how great it is that you should buy it. We're constantly changing the product, improving the product, uh, making it more economical, more efficient, and a, and a better product for our customers. This machine here, at the price you're seeing, it's about two and a half bucks a pound. If you compare that to just about anything in the industry, it's about half price to 40% of what you're going to pay for another machine with this kind of weight factor. What you're seeing here today with the feed deflector, the screen deck, the whole machine complete is about 2,100 pounds. We still have the fork pockets that we had in our 2014 model. We still have our lift extensions that you can put in there that allows your bucket to come in, pick it up, pack it around. It's still reversible. You can put them on the inside for the smaller machines. This machine's eight foot wide, so you can load it crossways on your equipment trailer so you can get your skid steer and your screener on together so that you can have it same day, same day service, skid steer and screener at your work site for doing recycling. Uh, what that really means to the contractors are, it doesn't matter whether you've got one yard, two yards, 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, or 100 yards, it takes two minutes to get it off the trailer, set it on site, plug it in, and you got something that's going to produce 10 to 30 yards an hour depending upon your mesh and machine. A really good fit for guys that are doing sand, soil, compost, gravel, rock, um, bedding for, for pipe. It's just a really versatile machine that gives you screening independence so that you get to screen your material when you want it, how you want it. So. Take a close look at this machine. It's a great value. Thanks.